What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. And before we get started, let me give a shout out to Zan, you know, Zach Neal, but AKA Zan, we know him by a fellow game changer as well as, you know, a known community member, particularly in the competitive world, you know, did a great job doing the interview with Carlos Guerrero. Shouts out to him, and I'm gonna definitely make you watch the full video. I'm not gonna give too many nuggets away in my video. I want you to go watch the full interview. The link is down in the description. But what I will do really quick, guys, is I'm gonna show you a few quick clips that I took from that interview that are important to me, and I think it's very important, particularly, you know, with you know, the Madden crowd in general, you know, Sim guys, of course, is who I represent, but you know, just the Madden community in general, some things that I took from it that I think are very key that you need to pay attention to. All right, so I'm gonna show you these quick clips and I'll be right back to reflect on them. Gameplay first. Core fundamental gameplay has to be good. The game has to be fun at its core before you start adding anything else. Make sure that we, you know, when we're looking at, at Madden, we take a look at all of the gameplay functionality, make sure that, you know, we're evaluating mechanics, we're evaluating, you know, defense, offense, and making sure that it, it works. So uh, being able to be very transparent with the, with the community, um, putting together a PTR where we're pushing, uh, you know, what's going to be coming so that people can play it and have an opinion on it and we can iterate on it. Evaluating the people that are that are um, that we currently have, and if we need to supplement those with additional people from the game industry who are pros and know how to how to design games, right? I think a good mix of people who love football and understand football, and people who love games and understand games, will give us the highest quality, best game that we could possibly deliver. Uh, what do you personally believe is the thing that most needs attention going forward? I think it comes down to core gameplay. You know, fundamentally making sure that our game is solid and feels good, it's responsive, it's, you know, again, you have to maintain the balance between authenticity and gameplay. And sometimes the two don't necessarily mesh, but you have to make sure at the end of the day we're making a game and we're making something that people want to enjoy and it's an entertainment experience, right? Once we shore that up and we feel like we're good, then we can start looking at additional stuff, right? Cool new ideas and ex exploring all that. But until we get there, that's the focus. But one of the things that I've been hearing a lot of is, you know, nobody gives any love to franchise. Right. It's all about right. Ultimate Team. The focus is all about that. And it's it's not really, right? I mean, when you, when you think about it, you know, franchise, uh, there are things that are put in for franchise, but it's never enough, right? But every, everybody in franchise has different wants and different needs, even within the groups, right? And so what, what what would be put in for one person or, or, or one segment doesn't appeal to the other segment within that same, within that same area, right? Uh, that being said, 19 is a very balanced year, right? So there's going, we're giving love to every part of, of the game and I'm moving forward, it's gonna be more like that. Okay, so now that you guys have had a chance to look at a few of those clips there, and again, if you wanna see the full interview, the link is down in the description, give all the credit to Zan being able to get the opportunity to sit down with Carlos Guerrero to give us this interview. Now, for you guys that don't know, he is the senior producer for Madden NFL. He also worked on Madden 19. And basically, you know, he's gonna help shape the direction going forward. Now, what I wanted to point out more, most importantly to me, the very first clip that I played, he talks about gameplay. He's referencing gameplay as being the cog to this game, the driving force, and not just it being the driving force, is that everything centers around gameplay. You know, that's very important to me. This is what I've always said. And you know, this is a very key piece to the puzzle because, you know, there's always the discussion around, you know, the gameplay modes and, you know, Play Now and CFM and, you know, Mutt and the competitive scene, et cetera, et cetera. So for him to be saying that gameplay needs to be paramount, that to me sounds like across the board. Now, of course, we all gotta wait and see how all of this translates. You know, everything that Carlos is saying is great, but let's be honest, you know, we all gotta acknowledge the fact that, okay, you know, to a lot of us, we're gonna say, okay, lip service, until we see the actual, you know, things put in motion, what he's, you know, what he's referring to. When we see these things actually playing out in the product, that's how you gain the trust, and that's how you gain the faith of your community. So right now, of course, we have to acknowledge that it could be lip service or what have you, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But for him to come out and say right away, gameplay 
is the key initiative. Okay, I'm listening. He talks about being transparent. And I know a lot of people, you know, kind of feel like maybe we're gonna lose some of that transparency with Rex no longer being the creative director. And that could very well be true in terms of Twitter. Me personally, I don't think we're gonna see that same Twitter follow, you know, following or uh, I guess uh, interaction on Twitter like we did see with Rex. You know, if you notice, Clint really hasn't been as vocal. And you know, I'm not even gonna hold Clint or any of the other devs, you know, accountable for that. Cause uh, let's be honest, that's something that you can choose to do. That's not a requirement. You know, we don't have to be, speak to these guys on Twitter. And a lot of times, I mean, not just Madden, but game developers in general, the kind of stuff they have to sift through on Twitter, who wants to deal with that? We were fortunate to have somebody like Rex to do that, as well as, like I said, Clint will follow suit at times also. And we're very fortunate to have that. But I don't know if we're going to see that same type of interaction on Twitter. However, Carlos did say that transparency is key where it's very paramount to let the community know what's going on even in the future as far as future products as well as things like bugs and you know what's currently going on in the game because again if you listen to the interview he does address you know how you react to patches and things like that so it's a good listen so go check that out you know speaking of modes you know everybody always says that you know it's believed by a lot of people in the simulation community, you know, which simulation guys, most of the simulation crowd, which I am included, we're CFM guys. You know, a lot of say, you know, sim players are CFM guys. So let's just say the franchise mode community, you know, you hear a lot of times from members in the franchise mode community that, you know, it's all about mutt. That's all they care about. There's no love for franchise. Well, Carlos does mention that in this uh, video as well. You just saw the clip where he talks about, you know, his feeling and his vision is that all areas of the game should be, you know, improving together. You know, it should be worked on on a yearly basis is basically what he said. Like, again, like you heard in the clip, he talks about how he feels that Madden 19 is a balanced year in terms of modes. But then again, there's going to be moments in the interview where he references the fact that gameplay is what brings all that together. And I think that's key. You know, if, if things can be delivered on, you know, based on what they're saying, game could be in a good direction. We'll have to wait and see. I feel like, again, at this moment, what's being said are all the right things. You know, we all are gonna have some cautious optimism because we have to make sure that it follows up. You know, because we've been down these particular roads before with Madden in the past, I think, you know, we got a breath of fresh air with Rex Dixon and his, you know, his leadership and his team that he assembled with Clint and your A-dubs of the world and my guy Scant and many other people, RG. I mean, a lot of other people that I'm probably forgetting names, but they know who they are. But we'll have to see what the new vision is going to be because Carlos also mentioned that, you know, that's something that they have to sit down and hash out as far as the vision. Again, to recap, I think Carlos said a lot of good things, you know, in terms of it being, you know, gameplay focused and making sure things work and the quality of the game and all of that, you know, and what we're seeing with other interviews that he did referencing how the game has to play the same way it looks, you know, as far as the visual fidelity and then the game needs to play the same way with the real player motion, et cetera, et cetera. All good stuff. How he references that, you know, it's not gonna be specific to just one mode, you know, not just one mode is gonna get all the love. All of these modes will be growing as one in unison. All good things. And he talks about, again, transparency, being transparent and very open with the community. And again, there's numerous other things that he mentions, but again, I'm not gonna take away from Zan's video. You guys need to go check that out for yourself. Link is in the description. Go watch the full interview and then develop your opinion. And I want to hear you guys' opinions as well. But at the end of the day, we're all watching. We have to see if what's being said translates in the product over the next couple upcoming years. And, you know, I guess we can look at Madden 19 and kind of say, OK, maybe this is your foundation since he preferenced the fact that Madden 19, he feels is a balanced game. And, you know, he worked on Madden 19 as well. So I don't know. Maybe this is giving us an indication of how the game will be developed going forward. We'll see. We'll see. So I just wanted to give, you know, my quick thoughts on it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking. And obviously, you know, I'm in an interesting you know, position 
where you know I'm already under NDA with Mad 19, so it's like there's certain things that I know and et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, you know, obviously I can't disclose them now. But again, also at the same time, I want to always give my community what you guys are looking for from me and try to get you know more understanding as far as what I'm thinking, what I'm seeing, and what my thoughts are on things that are revealed by EA. All right, so. There you have it, man. That's all I got for you. Again, go make sure you, you know, make sure you go out and check out Dan's interview. It was a great interview. Develop your own opinion, and I'd be happy for you to share your thoughts back with me. But as well, you know, leave your thoughts on his video as well and give him, you know, some of your thoughts on how you felt about the interview and things that Carlos is saying. All right. So that's it, man. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button so you know videos are coming. And I promise, guys. It'll never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, that's gonna do it for this video, but I promise I'll be back with more content very, very soon. All right, y'all take care. Until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.